Welcome back to Fifth Gear. This three inch device is the key to the fastest Ferrari ever made. So strap yourselves in because you, me and the F12 Berlinetta are going for a ride. This is a momentous occasion. Ferrari has replaced its top of the range supercar, the awesome 599, with this. It's smaller and lighter than its predecessor and more powerful than any Ferrari road car in history. <laughs> the price, just shy of a quarter of a million pounds. There's an awful lot to take in, so let's start with the engine. Mounted up front is something that's about as powerful as a Formula One car. 730 bhp. It'll rev to 8,700 rpm and it's got more than 500 pound foot of torque. It is absolutely mind boggling. It's actually an upgraded version of the engine first used in the legendary Enzo in 2002. Thanks to direct injection and what Ferrari call increased fluid dynamics efficiency, this barking mad V12 is more efficient and refined than before. Despite all that power and the massive size of the engine, it's pootling along very happily here at 1500 RPM in fifth gear, really quietly. It's a bit of a pussycat. Until you put your foot down. Oh! oh, you want me to speak? I can't speak. I'm having too much fun. Holy smoke, Batman. We've got some power here. test track at Fiorano, a whole three seconds faster than its predecessor. And it was even one second quicker than the 599 GTO, which is basically a racing car. You arrive at corners before you even know that they're there. You have to scan everything in front of you at such a high speed. My brain is working really hard to keep this pace up. I will be mentally exhausted at the end of the day. This car should only really be driven like this by racing drivers or complete and utter lunatics. I just feel like I've done a round with the Klitschko brothers, both of them. The F12 is actually much greener than the car it replaces. Despite having 119 brake horsepower more than the 599, it uses 30% less fuel. But fear not, petrol heads, this isn't a car with economy on its mind. That extra MPG is just a happy payback for all the hard work the design team has put into making this as aerodynamic and as light as possible. Its chassis is made of 12 different types of lightweight alloy. Its brake cooling ducts only open when the brakes are hot to cut drag. And despite slipping through the air twice as efficiently as the 599, it's got 76% more downforce. If you're a Formula One fan, you'll know that downforce plays a crucial part in keeping a very fast car stuck to the road. Well, most sports cars today aren't really fast enough to need much of it, but with this car, it smashes through the 200 mile an hour barrier. So downforce is really important. The steering is sharper than it was in the 599, so you've got just two turns lock to lock, which means minimum input from my hands to get maximum turn around the bends. And with so much flipping grunt, you need some quick steering. Woo! Golly, just coming out of this hairpin, press the throttle and it barely goes in a straight line. Oh! Admittedly, I have got traction control fully off though. <laughs> 
though this car can be fantastically unhinged, inside it is a model of luxury. This leather is adorable. I really like these aeronautically derived air vents and I love the fact that you can put your iPhone down here and no matter how sideways you get, it stays there. But what I don't like are these plastic and cheap buckles. Not good, not Ferrari. The Lamborghini Aventador is the F12's closest competitor. It costs £10,000 more, has 30 brake horsepower less, and with its four-wheel drive system is much more of a tourer than a sports car. The Ferrari is much more exciting, but it's not perfect. You need to be on the limit with the traction control system turned off to feel its spine-tingling brilliance because otherwise you're just sat in a pretty special but pretty normal GT car. Oh, that was a good slide. <laughs> the F12 Berlinetta has got a fantastic engine, a great cabin, and it is an absolute animal. The only worry I have, though, is that unless you are a professional driver, you aren't going to come close to taming it. <laughs> 